All right, in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to find sub niches so you can build out your Etsy shop and create more products for that same customer. So let's get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to Etsy and I'm gonna type in a very broad keyword, in this case, wedding. And then I'm going to go down here into all filters. And now inside of the filters, by the way, there's a lot of different things that you can use to narrow down your search. But also they give you, I say they, Etsy gives you all of these different related occasions that are off of that search term. So in this case, wedding, yes, we know that, we just put that in there, but then there's first birthday. Maybe if you're in the wedding niche, you could create products for a first birthday. Why? Because people that get married sometimes have kids. And this way here, you're going to be able to create products for them when they do have kids. So that's a great way to add more products for that one customer. Anniversary. So this could be something that you're going to create for them after they get married. So that's what we wanna be thinking about. But this is a great way, as you can see here, to really build out this product line and go into these sub niches. Here's another one, baby shower, or bachelor party, or bachelor at party. Now you got back to school, we might not wanna do that one. Baptism, absolutely bar mitzvah, uh, birthday, bridal shower, confirmation, divorce and breakup. Uh, don't know if we wanna do that one. Uh, engagement, that's another one before they get married. So these are all sub niches that we can go into. And here's what we would do. We would wanna go here and say, okay, let's say, well, let's go into bridal shower. And then let's go ahead and hit apply. And then it's going to kick back these results. And now I can just scroll through here if I want to, but I also can go here, because we have Everbee installed, and we can go to product analytics. And then we can look at all of the products that are selling well in this sub niche, in this subcategory. So let's go ahead and sort the total sales, and uh, let's kind of scroll through here. So we have a cutting board. We have this here, which looks like a little box, Miss Taylor. We have a sign. Looks like we have some pencils. Uh, looks like here we have a little gift box of some kind. Okay, here we have editable templates of some kind. Uh, bridal shower feud, this is a game. So all of these different products are potential products. Not that they're going to be, but they're potential products. And we're looking at the numbers, total sales. We're looking at monthly sales as we did in earlier videos. And we look at monthly revenue and all of that stuff. But this is how I'm able to go into the wedding niche, but then go into these sub niches. Let's look at one more. Once I'm back in the filters, I'm gonna unselect bridal shower and I'm going to do engagement. And let's see what that brings back. So here's the results. As you can see, let's go ahead and run the product analytics. And we're going to sort by total sales. And we're gonna start looking at these products. There you go. A nice little label for a wine bottle, perfect. And then my humans are getting married. This must be for someone's pet because a lot of times they wanna bring their pet and have them in the wedding, so that would be great. Here we are, wedding planner. Here we have a candle. So as you can see, we just narrowed it down. We went wedding, and then we said, okay, what are some of those sub niches inside of wedding? Now we can just think of these off the top of our head, but why not go here into filters and let Etsy tell us what these occasions are that are related to this main niche. And if we want, we can even go a little bit further. We can go down and see that, okay, they're suggesting certain rooms that people put these types of items in. And that's really good actually also for when you are creating your listing and optimizing it. And then down here, a certain style. Now, like I said, we can think of this stuff all on our own or we can let Etsy tell us. Like, why not, right? Let's look at another main niche. So farmhouse. There's a lot of people that love the farmhouse decor and just farmhouse items, those types of things. So let's just start here with farmhouse. I'm gonna go here to filters, all filters, and I'm going to scroll down. So we have country and farmhouse, we have art deco, we have bohemian and electric, coastal and tropical. So maybe there's some farmhouse stuff that is also coastal and tropical. 
You see, so now we're going after a subset of the market, or as I like to say, the sub niches of that market. And then the other thing, we can come down here and see there's certain rooms. Now the room doesn't necessarily mean that's a sub niche, but the style would be. So let's look at this. Let's go into Bohemian and Electic and see what comes back. Let's hit apply. And then let's go into the product analytics and let's see what comes back. Let's see total sales here. Let's sort it. And we have this one here. So we have some printable wall art, okay, that fits this description. We have this here, party of five. We have this here. We have this here. So a lot of different styles that are following this search now that I've refined it. And then because we have ever be installed, we can look at all of the data. And then we can make the decision. Do we add this to our main niche? Let's look at another one. I just went with farmhouse. Let's try Western decor. So now I'm going to go to all filters. We're going to go here and scroll down just like we did before. And now the other cool thing is too, is here I can expand this to show more. Like look at all of these different ones. Game room. Okay, so maybe there's some uh, Western decor for a game room. Now, does that mean that that's a sub niche? Not really, uh, but if we come down here, the style is, so if I expand that out, okay, mid-century or minimalist, uh, Victorian, uh, contemporary. So all of these styles, rustic and primitive, that could be one. Let's do that. Let's select that one. Let's hit apply. And then let's go ahead and hit the product analytics in Everbee. And let's go ahead and sort it by total sales. And you can see here, okay, that there is just a, looks like a frame. Uh, this here, okay, that's cool. That's a, uh, a horseshoe, it looks like. Okay, we have a cactus. All right, so all of these things are following that criteria that I just gave it. And if I'm in Western decor, this just actually narrowed it down and went into a sub niche. So that's how you can find sub niches using Etsy filters and the Everbee product analytics. Hopefully this video helped you. I'll see you in the next.